Hello, I'm Dr. Mao Xing Ni. I'm a doctor of Chinese medicine, author of the book Secrets of Longevity, and board certified in anti-aging medicine. I practice at the Tao Wellness with offices in Santa Monica, Pasadena, and Newport Beach in Southern California. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that's near and dear to my heart, and that is inflammation. Every single day, I see many patients with inflammation. The first symptom of inflammation for most people is pain. Of course, there's the other symptoms and signs of swelling, redness, hot. But pain is what drives most people to see their doctor and their healthcare providers. Pain alone costs approximately $635 billion a year in the U.S. alone. That is, by the way, folks, more than heart disease, diabetes, and cancer combined. It's a stunning figure. Today, I'm going to share with you some tips on what you can do so that you can reduce inflammation and reduce the pain and suffering. First of all, we have to understand what inflammation is. Inflammation is like a forest fire. It rages throughout and wherever it touches, there's destruction and therefore in the human body, dysfunction. It can affect your joints. It can affect your skin, muscles, mucous membranes. It can affect your hair follicle, for example. So take arthritis. 80% of Americans experience some kind of joint pain or arthritis sometime in their lifetime. And this is due to the fact that there is either an injury, overuse, or simply aging. Cartilage is wearing out. This is called osteoarthritis. And what we like to do is promote natural ways that you can help yourself with inflammation. And stay tuned. We're going to be talking about a couple very potent, naturally occurring enzymes that you can find in some of your favorite fruits. First fruit up is pineapple, and it contains an enzyme called bromelain. This bromelain has been shown in studies as well as clinically to be very helpful to turn down inflammation. The properties of bromelain has been compared to as potent and yet without the side effects of COX COX2 inhibitor, an, um, an inflammatory process in the human body. There are drugs like Celebrex that are COX2 inhibitors that um, are very effective for inflammation, but before you use a drug that you may develop side effects from, why not try pineapple? This is nature's gift to you with the rich supply of an enzyme bromelain. The other nutrient, it's also an enzyme. It's called papain, and it can be found in papaya. So papaya contains papain that also turns down this inflammatory fire and can give you lots of relief. These are just two of many natural substances in nature that can be very helpful for inflammation. When inflammation turns against other tissues in your body, that's driven by a malfunctioning of your immune system, these disease process are called autoimmunity, where your own immune system is attacking healthy tissue. And so when it attacks your kidneys and your joints, it could be lupus. When it attacks your skin, it shows up as eczema, psoriasis, or when it attacks the collagen of the skin, it shows up as scleroderma. And what about people with alopecia, where there's huge chunks of hair that just drops off? And that's because the hair follicle has been attacked by the immune system, and that is an autoimmune disease. There are many, many autoimmune diseases. And the first place 
what we can do is to look at our diet and eat a diet that's free from inflammatory agents. They include nightshade plants, tomatoes, potatoes, eggplants, and peppers. Yes, you've heard me correctly. These are some of your favorite foods, and I'm sorry to inform you that there is an alkaloid called solanine that can trigger the immune system and create this inflammatory process. And so stay away from the nightshade vegetables as well as cow dairy with its foreign protein, uh, like casein as an example, and lots of sugar like lactose, as well as corn-fed beef, red meat. You know, cows usually should graze grass so that they can have lots of omega-3 fatty acid, but instead, corn-fed cows contain a lot of omega-6 and 9 fatty acids, which are inflammatory. So you want to eat foods that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, and they also include salmon and deep-sea fish that eats algae, grass-grazing uh, animal, as well as seaweed, and algae. And finally, stress. I would like to impress upon you the role that stress can play to increase your inflammatory process in your body. You see, stress hormone called cortisol can absolutely ignite and aggravate this inflammatory fire. When you're stressed, you have more pain, more inflammation. So I suggest that you incorporate some kind of stress management techniques such as meditation, exercise, and plenty of sleep at night, seven to eight hours a night. If you would like to find out more information about how you can help yourself if you have arthritis, check out my book, Arthritis, Secrets of Natural Healing, as well as if you have lots of back pain and so forth, I also wrote a book called Back to Pain Freed Health. These books are full of wonderful, useful tips of things that you can do at home for yourself, including nutrition, exercise, stretching, meditation. Until next time, may you live long, live strong, and live happy.